This is our third annual holiday spectacular, which means as far as Christmas specials go, we are now officially kicking Charlie Brown's ass. Yeah. yeah. Little bald-headed bastard. Yeah. That's right. You know, one thing people never mention about Christmas is it's the best smelling of the holidays. I mean, let's face it, 4th of July. 4th of July smells like someone took a dump on a hibachi to me. You got the sulfur, you got the burnt arm hair. St. Patrick's Day smells like stale beer and green vomit, but Christmas, Christmas smells like pine trees and nutmeg and pumpkin pie and... And farting. Farting. <laughs> it's, it's just a great time to breathe. Yes. I, I spent most of my Christmas trying to avoid going to church. Mom, I'd love to go to Midnight Mass, but who's going to decorate Jesus' birthday cake? Right. It's not going to bake itself. That's right. Now, I'm not religious. I don't have any kids. So for me, Christmas is just a big pre-NFL playoffs buffet. Yeah! Plus, I get some crappy gift certificate to the Gap. And uh, listen, if anyone's watching, don't bother with the gift certificates. I do not use them. I really I get more use out of a box of tampons. <laughs> you might as well just stop by the Gap, give them 50 bucks, and run out because I will not use it. Look at this. This is, uh, this is real. This is not a prop we made up. Take a look. That's a gift certificate from the Banana Republic from December 25th, 1992. <laughs> from my sister-in-law. Too bad, Jimmy. You could have picked up a nice pair of stonewashed jeans to wear to the Georgia Satellites concert. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. No. But it, don't you guys worry about getting anything for us. We're here to give to you. And with that said, please enjoy this very special Man Show Holiday Sock Puppet presentation. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what oh, fun carolers. is to ride in a one-horse oh. open sleigh. Oh, 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 nice. Oh, 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 oh
Happy motherfucking New Year. That's very nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bing Crosby just shit himself in his grave. <laughs> More Christmas magic to come. Santa Carl Malone and holiday ovations. This is The Man Show. Christmas. Hey, it's Christmas time, and though this time of year is mostly for kids, there's no reason why big, hairy guys like us can't enjoy it, too. Yes, and the Man Show scientists have been working hard all year to see to it that this is the best holiday season for men ever. These are our very latest holiday ovations, and as man of the house, it's my job to put the star on top of the Christmas tree every year. But... Wouldn't you enjoy that chore a whole lot more if you also got to jam something up the ass of a daytime talk show host, Jimmy? Yes, I would, Adam. Yes, I would. And now, thanks to the Star Jones tree topper, I can. Her adjustable rectum makes this star a perfect fit for any tree. Oh. <laughs> that was me, by the way. <laughs> And while you're at it, hang a few of these from the tree. Pornaments. Uncle Dave will bust a nut over these decorative testicles. Oh, yes, he will. Hang those right there. And nice. Phyllis will freak for these festive Benoit balls. Treat Cousin Doug to a string of gold and green anal beads. Yeah. <laughs> and another for his life partner, Steve. <laughs> and... Deck the halls of Grandma's vagina with this vibrating candy cane. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I chipped a tooth on this in rehearsal. <laughs> Next, something for the kids. In this day and age of diversity and other troublemaking, you never know what the holiday, what holiday someone is celebrating. No, you yeah. don't. No, you don't at no, all. No, you don't. And that's why you have to be ready for anything. When a stocking or a dreidel isn't appropriate, give your favorite tyke this hip-hop twist on a holiday classic. Dr. Seuss meets Dr. Dre and How the Grinch Stole Kwanzaa. <laughs> what kid wouldn't flip his koofy over that? But the holidays aren't all about gifts. It's also a time to share and time to open up to those who love you most. And what better way to open up than with fine china? That's right. When you have something important to say, say it with these family secret plates. This one says, Mom, I'm gay. <laughs> Aunt Linda's having an affair. <laughs> Your son is strung out on crank. <laughs> and Grandpa plays weird games with the dog. Now your family is dysfunctional and dishwashable. <laughs> Next, nativity scenes are fine, but once you set them up, what do you do with them, Jimmy? Wouldn't the gang from Bethlehem be a lot more entertaining as a high-speed table game? Oh, you bet your manger they would. Take a spin at this. Nativity scene foosball! Yeah! Three wise men at forward, some barn animals at midfield. We got uh, uh, Joseph and Mary playing a uh, fullback, and of course the Christ child in goal. Yeah. Ready? Nothing gets by Christ. Oh, jeez. Oh! Ooh. Yes! Ooh. Uh, I, guess, I guess Jesus doesn't save. No. <laughs> Finally, we can't all be Santa Claus, but wouldn't you love to have your own elf? A tiny little guy to keep chained in your basement, ready to do odd jobs at the crack of your whip? Well, now you can capture your very own elf with this, the elf trap. 
Baited with what elves love most, cocaine. That's Give me, right, that's right. <laughs> Give them a little something out of your stash. That's right. Once they get a whiff of this nose candy, oh, they come running all the way from the North Pole. Let's see if we can catch one now. I'm guessing we'll be able to. <laughs> The, I'm going to name him Kokor. <laughs> the trap breaks their little spine so they can't run, and the coke keeps them building, whittling, and carving long after their little hearts explode. Now, there's an invention we can use. Damn right. That's holiday evasion. This is the man show. Thank you. She's tough. She's fair. She's stacked. She's Jugs Judy. On a special holiday edition of Jugs Judy, one of Santa's elves is suing an overweight stripper for a fa la 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 lap dance gone awry. So he tells it to the Jugs. And you asked for the lap dance. Yes, but. And you paid her. Jugs Judy decides who's been naughty and who's been nice. Then I sit in his lap and I give him a dance. Please demonstrate for the court. No! Case dismissed. It'll be anything but a silent <laughs> night on the next <laughs> Judge Judy. <laughs> <laughs> special and let's be honest professional athletes aren't what they used to be no big money contracts have turned a lot of these guys into greedy self-centered multi-millionaires that's why it's so great to see a superstar give something back especially at this time of the year this from the utah jazz is santa carl malone Ho, 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 Merry Christmas time, everybody. Santa Claus, Elf, go get Santa Claus some kids. Okay, then. Oh, look at this here, kid right here. This is a sporty little kid right here in his sporty socks and sporty stuff. And what's your name, little boy? Jesus. Jesus. Ho, ho, Jesus. You know how they pronounce that name in English? It's Jesus. And you know who birthday on Christmas? That's Jesus time right there. And little baby Jesus wrapped in a manger, all swaddling up in all kind of clothes, and the chickens and the mules all coming two by two on the ark to visit him. That was a good old story right there, right? Oh, that's real good. What basketball team you like the best? Um, Lakers. La okay, Elf, get this girl out of here. No bike, no doll for you. Dang, Laker. And what could Santa Claus bring you for Christmas time? Um, PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2? That's, now, what's the difference between PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2? You don't know. Okay, Santa Claus gonna bring you PlayStation 1, that's cheaper. Okay. Okay, uh, little girl, what the heck is that on shirt right there? But Santa Claus sometimes, he don't know what the heck these parents thinking. Don't wear that shirt no more, okay? Now, what would you like for Christmas? A uh, hamster. A hamster? Oh, a hamster. Now, yeah, that's a weird gift to like because Home Alone have dirty clothes too and they throw them in a the hamster and then they carry them off the laundromat. But if that's what you want, that'd be a good gift for you. Put all your stinking socks and all that stinking stuff in there and then mommy do the wash, right? Come over here. Oh, what's happening right here? Now, what's your name, little girl? My name's Marie. And what would you like for Christmas this year? Well, I was hoping I could get a horse. A horse? Yeah. A horse? A horse? What, what, to bounce up and down like that all? That's really, and a horse will keep on trotting and bouncing all over the place like so? Yeah. Well, Santa Claus don't know if he bring you a horse, but if you wait here about 30 more seconds, he's going to give you some illegitimate kids, okay? <laughs> okay, yep, it's done. Okay, yep, it's all good. Merry ho, 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 everybody. Merry Christmas time. Okay, get the hell off, Santa Claus. He's making his list and checking it twice because he doesn't read so good. That's right. We'll be back very, very soon. This is The Man Show.
the Man Show. Time for the Q&A portion That's of right. the show. Our favorite uh, segment where we get to answer questions from you, the studio audience. And our first question is from Andrew Pelos from Orange County. Andrew, where are you? There he is. Andrew. Andrew asks, at uh, the company Christmas party, do Adam and Jimmy under mistletoe equal kiss? <laughs> so, like, you just stumble upon the mistletoes right under you and... You're looking for an image to jack off to? <laughs> What's going on with the necklace? Uh, just like it. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's lose that. <laughs> That's not working. Apparently she likes it. Vanessa, confiscate that, will you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. A million no. pukas gave their life for that. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, you homo. Have a seat. Um, hey. Neil Ordway. Where is Neil? Neil? Yeah. 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 He says, why do women get offended when you buy them lingerie for Christmas? I, you know, it's a good, because women say about lingerie, they always say, I buy it for me. And then when you buy it for them, they you say it. you bought it for you. Exactly. But yeah. what happened to them buying it for me? And then if you're buying it for you, aren't you buying it for me? Which is them? Too? Exactly. My ex-wife used to say that all the time. Yeah. yeah. yeah well, That's why she's my ex. Underline the word ex, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. They should buy them some brains. That's what they should buy them. There you go. Retard. I know our audience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where is Bethany Johnson? Bethany, where are you? Bethany? Hi, Bethany. Wait, I don't understand. Are you guys friends of Bethany's? <laughs> Bethany says, last Christmas, I brought my boyfriend home for Christmas, and he ended up having sex with my sister. Should I bring him home with me for the holidays this year? <laughs> you don't have a brother, do you? <laughs> Look Dude. out, he may move on. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he's, he's Greek, so. What's that? I say he's Greek, so. He's Greek. Oh, well, there you right go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, you, did he really do this? Did he really have sex with your sister? You're just making it up to get on TV. <laughs> You're making it up. But that's all right. You're good looking. We don't mind. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Deborah Doda from New Hampshire. Where is Deborah? Debra, hi, Debra. Debra says, why does my husband insist on getting me jewelry for Christmas when what I really need is a new skill saw? Oh, you That's do true. not, you big lesbian. I do. I... <laughs> you do not. I do. I cut through the power cord building a gazebo. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah, wow. I can see that. What, are you looking for a worm drive or a side motor mount? <laughs> you don't side know. motor. Side really? motor. Really? Cheapo? You don't yeah. want to step up to well, a worm drive? I'm just going to cut saw? through the power cord again next thing I build. Are you high when you build gazebos? <laughs> you really prefer uh, power tools to jewelry. I already have jewelry. Right. Wow. You know, there's only, you only have one pair of ears, one neck. Right. Yeah, and you have what... a thousand gazebos? Well. <laughs> what kind of logic is that? <laughs> All right. Uh, sit down there, will you? Um, and uh, finally, Rosa Leonardis. Where's Rosa? Rosa? Oh, well, wait, wait till you hear this question. I want to do a holiday strip tease for my boyfriend. Do you think I have the goods? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he'll uh, empty a sack the second <laughs> time. We would really have to unwrap you to find out. You know, I don't know. Maybe the studio audience wants to be the judge of that, right? Yeah. Well, let's see some. Let's see a little crack at least. I mean, oh, there you go. All right. Well, uh, and let me tell you, this is why we didn't want women in the studio audience. That's right. All right, everybody, raise a beer for the Man Show toast, if you would. A holiday toast. Ziggy zaggy, ziggy zaggy.